domestic consumer spend is an important part of generating growth in the economy. I think people increasingly are recognising that the confidence building measures we are bringing forward, particularly in relation to rectifying the public finances, that that's a, a crucial part of the recovery of the economy. So obviously we will, in coming months, in preparations for budgets and uh, preparing for the autumn term, be looking at various initiatives in that area. Uh, I think when you see the level of savings in our uh, situation where the level of savings have gone up from about 4% to somewhere about 12%, people are saving their money. So what we really need to do is, as a nation, is try and get those people who are saving their money to spend their money in the economy. And uh, you have seen that in some areas like in the motor industry and uh, some other areas, uh, some areas in the retail where there has been significant increase. No, let's be clear about this. The key objective this year is to continue to meet our targets. We, ha- we do have three billion to save. Any specific plans in mind of how to get people to spend those savings that they've no, no. been hoarding? You'll appreciate already this year we've seen a modest recovery in consumer sentiment. We saw increased purchase of motor cars earlier in the year. We've seen that our VAT returns have begun to improve. So there are positive signs in this economy, but joblessness remains a big problem and has to be tackled. And the government will be bringing forward initiatives in that regard. Well, our finance correspondent Brian O'Donovan was there today. Brian, any more details about what happened at this meeting today? Well, Colette, I think the big mantra from Brian Cowan and a lot of his ministers was this whole area of an economic stimulus. How do we get people spending those savings that they've been hoarding for so long? And we need to see a way of people being able to spend all this money. I mean, Dermot O'Hearn, you heard in his piece there, pointing out that uh, consumer savings are up by something like 4%. People are hoarding a lot of cash and it's worrying the government. They want to see people getting out there and spending as much cash as they can. Details were a little bit thin on the ground about what form this stimulus might take. You heard two ministers there, Brian Lennon and Dermot O'Hearn, both referring to the motor uh, industry, referring to that scrappage scheme where we saw the motor industry in real, real trouble. So what did they do? They brought in a scrappage scheme and it's boosted motor sales through the roof this year so far. How that would transfer to a broader retail sector, we don't know yet. We asked the minister, you heard me ask him there earlier, would it involve some kind of tax cut 